So many Catholic things make us happy here every day, and we love to share them with you all. So today we have some news, we have a giveaway, and just some other Catholic things that have been making us happy. So let's get started. So we always like to start these videos with a meme, and since October brings us the Feast of St. Francis, we thought this would be a fun one to start with. And we also read something really cool recently about this gigantic monstrance that floated down the Mississippi River uh, back in August. And it was 14 feet high and is supposedly the largest monstrance in the world. So it floated down the river for two whole days. Would you not have loved to have seen that? We'll link an article down below for you about it. But from the article, we learned that the Mississippi River at one time was called the River of the Immaculate Conception. So that is also really cool. So now moving on to some news, we've had some exciting stuff going on here. Many of you out there know that last fall we added the young parochial vicar to our domestic church. He is full of energy, he loves to read, and you've seen a lot of him in our videos. <laughs> And so now we are happy to announce that we have added a brother to the rectory. And when we say we've added a brother, we really mean brother mm -hmm. because our new addition is the parochial vicar's very own biological brother. They are litter mates. <laughs> About a month ago, his former family called us and said that he needed a new home. So of course we took him on. Bring him. And ever since then, the two of them have been getting into a lot of trouble, <laughs> but having a lot of fun. As brothers do, right? So I have to say, like, when they arise in the night to do their night prayers, they are very loud going up and down the hall. So we're kind of getting used to that. Uh, the other thing is that brother's new name in his religious life has not yet been determined. He came with a name that won't do at all. So we're trying to think of something that would be appropriate. If you have any any suggestions let us know down in the comments. Right, so now on to our other piece of news. So last winter we read this book Everyday Miracles of Lords and we found out about an organization called Our Lady of Lords North American Hospitality Volunteers which is basically a group of volunteers who helps take sick pilgrims to Lords. Mm -hmm. And so many of the stories in this book really touched us. And so we felt like we were being called to go to Lourdes as volunteers. Which we are going to do this fall. So we're really excited. For the past few months here, we've been doing paperwork and getting our passports updated. You know, all the stuff that you have to do to travel overseas. So we're really excited. Of course, we're also kind of nervous. Some of the pilgrims that we will be helping are just, you know, very, very seriously ill. So so we would really appreciate your prayers for them and for us. So of course, we will be praying for you while we are there. And if you have a specific prayer request you would like to for us to take to the grotto, let us know down in the comments. So that was a lot. So we have another meme to transition. We love cider donuts. And so we feel this one was perfect for fall. Okay, and then next, recently we posted a video about holy cards and what to do with them. We're big holy card fans here, and recently we picked up a couple more that we wanted to show you. So the first one we found in the church library, and it is this one of St. Michael, which is really awesome because you don't see the archangels on a whole lot of holy cards. And we also just finished up a novena to St. Michael from the monks at St. Michael's Abbey. Perfect. <laughs> so, and then the second one, oh my goodness, you really don't see this guy on a holy card very often. So check this out. Yes, it's Moses. <laughs> so how awesome is that? And on the back, there are the Ten Commandments. So I don't know. This is bringing me much joy. It might be one of my most favorite holy cards ever. And yes, we did find a Moses meme to go along with it. Switching gears, our church library has been on the hunt lately for books that will address the topic of gender. We want these for our children's section because the kids hear so many messages at school and from the media, and we just wanted to have some solid resources available for parents. 
And so we found these books from Sophia Institute Press that were just what we were looking for. Now they're, they're board books, um, so they're sturdy. The illustrations are simple and cheerful and they just get the message across. So there is one for boys, there is one for girls, and then there is this one, God Made You, and then there's even a fourth book in the set, but someone, maybe me, <laughs> made a mistake and only ordered three, so we have to get the fourth one. But we just wanted to show these because we were really happy with the find, and they might be helpful if you're looking for something similar. And now in other book news, it's time for our giveaway. And today we are giving away a copy of this book, Shadows Visible and Invisible. It's the latest short story anthology from the authors over at Catholic Teen Books. And if this book looks familiar to you, yes, we did use it in our latest cooking video. So it's a great read for October, November, and it's seven short stories to help your teens learn about the holy souls in purgatory and why we need to pray for them. If you have kids who like a good spooky book, this is a perfect choice. The stories are set in different times and places, so it really has something for everyone. So let us know in the comments if you'd like to be entered. The giveaway will be open for a couple weeks till about October 20th. Okay, so speaking of spooky things, scary things, you might wonder, what the heck is she wearing? What's going on here? Well, this lovely contraption is a DIY travel pillow, hopefully. <laughs> so every time we fly, we try to find some sort of comfortable neck pillow, but it doesn't usually work out. Um, so we decided to try to make one of our own for free. So we looked around online and we found this pattern for using a hoodie that you already have to make your own travel pillow. So of course we had to give it a try. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's really easy. There's no sewing, no hoodies permanently harmed. So we're going to walk you through the process of how to do this. All right, so you're just going to start with your basic hoodie. Here I'm just using my chosen hoodie because it's a favorite one. You're just gonna turn it inside out and then take one sleeve and fold it across in front and then you'll take the other sleeve and you will fold it across in back so that it's going to look like this when you're all done. And then you're going to start rolling it up from the bottom see how that goes. So eventually it's going to be right side out again. Okay. And then you just pull the hood part through and kind of fluff it around and there you go. Supposedly this works really well as a DIY travel pillow, but we'll see. But then of course the question remains, will this actually be a good travel pillow? We have no idea, but hey, at least it was free to try. We'll keep you posted on how it works out. Okay. All right. All right, so moving okay. on from that to okay. something a little less scary. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so as you know, we love crafting here. So uh, painting, sewing, quilting, whatever. And a lot of those skills were learned from my grandmother who is a master crafter. And not too long ago, she gifted me a set of pillowcases that she embroidered herself. And they are just so beautiful. I love the fall color palette on these and I can't wait to use them. And so we just wanted to share that with you. So that is a roundup of our happy little Catholic things for fall. Of course, let us know in the comments what Catholic things have been bringing you joy. And don't forget to leave us a comment to enter in our spooky book giveaway. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.